As part of our efficiency ratios, we're going to look at the three ratios we've already covered from chapter 20. And the first one of those is the stock turnover ratio. So we calculated that by average stock times 365 divided by cost of goods sold. And if we do so, we ended up with a ratio in this case of 49 days. So what did that mean? That meant that on average, the firm turns its purchases of stock in the sales every 49 days. So looking at that um, to try and explain it, we would say that at any one time, this business has $20,000 of inventory. Um, that's based on the average stock calculation up here, which says that average stock is 20,000. Um, and on average, it took this business 49 days to sell it. Then it took another 49 days to sell the next 20,000 and then 49 days for the next 20,000 and so on. So interpreting the trend, if it goes from 49 days um, down to 34 days, we'd say that's actually a good trend in terms of we're going to get the cash from the sales faster. If the uh, could be also be a negative in the sense that maybe we had to lower prices to do it. We're not actually looking at how much profit we're making here, just on how quickly we can sell the stock. If that ratio were to go from 49 to 71 days, we would say that is a bad trend in one sense because we're going to get the cash from sales much slower. Uh, the good news could be that maybe we bought stock in bulk and we, we're holding on to more of it and therefore we've got lower prices um, for those cost of goods sold or maybe we also increased our sale prices so we're going to be earning more profit on each uh, item of inventory but just not selling as much as we used to. How can we improve it? We can either, looking at last year's result of uh, 20,000 times 365 divided by 150 was 49 days, we can either decrease the number on top and get that down by holding much less inventory. So we uh, you know, maybe don't buy as much in bulk, we keep average inventory down to 18,000 and we keep cost of goods sold, we sold just as many goods as we already had. Um, and if we do so, our, plugging those numbers back into the ratio, we'll get an average stock turnover of 44 days, which is an improvement. The other way we can do it is if last year's stock turnover was 49 days, we can increase the amount of goods we sold by holding the same amount of inventory. So maybe we just use um, the $20,000 of inventory to sell more goods. We managed to generate $160,000 of uh, cost of goods sold from our $20,000 of inventory. And if we do that, we'll see that on average, we must have been selling the goods every 46 days. And again, that's an improvement on the previous year.